Right, hopefully um, you are, <laughs> this is all making sense and it's sort of coming together. Right, this is my more or less finished piece. As I said, I was only working in tone for speed primarily, but also just so I think tone shows better what's going on, okay? Hopefully you've been doing this in colour. Now, just want to go over the main principles, okay? So we have a low horizon, okay? And we split, I'd say roughly a third or a quarter to find our vanishing, uh, our focal point, which in our composition was the church. Then we find things which lead towards it, to lead you in, okay? So we've got a path and a river. Uh, on top of that, we had a sky. Now we looked at Seagull's sky. This is the whole point, it's a Seagull based exercise. Uh, dark to light, or light to dark. And I sent you a copy of this sky reverted, so it might make it easier to use. The principles being, so we get dark things against the light sky, light things against the dark sky, contrast, okay? That's what we're looking for. So. With all those principles, we have the, I mean, the, we, we have uh, some trees there against a lighter sky, some darker trees against a darker sky, but we, we're we not too worried about that because you, my trees are dark, but yours are probably painted. But we have the um, church lit up as such against so its focal points. It's something we're drawing us in. We left the river and the path lighter. So again, it separates them from the rest of the uh, riverbank and the reeds. As I keep saying, I've just done it as a drawing or pen and ink drawing, but yours will be a painting, so you get more contrast and more subtlety into it. Anyway, that's the exercise. I hope that made sense. As I said earlier, there's an article by Paul Gadgen in The Artist in August, which he is called Paint Like Seago. And uh, if you want to buy that, look at that, that really does, it's a brilliant article. And it just, it's, it really does show what we're talking about. But I hope from our point of view as an art class, uh, as a lessons group, you can kind of see where we're coming to and um, why a great artist like Seago has a technique and it's successful and it's works successfully and we as artists can just learn from it. Thank you, I'll send this as the email and um, also one last thing, I'm gonna resend another email later on today with all the videos linked together so you can watch them one after the other if, if you're getting confused. Anyway, also there'll be homework. I forgot about that. The homework will be to go out into, into the go out somewhere and find a scene and try and look for these points, these pointers which uh, make the good composition. We so say we've been doing weather, compositions, all these things. So perhaps you can try some for yourself and to looking at Seago as an inspiration. Have a nice week. Should be sunny and warm. Talk soon. Bye.